The National Space Park is really going to increase our standing internationally. We already work with bodies like NASA and the European Space Agency, but this is going to really allow us to grow and grow that research with these various partners and really increase our research standing. Space research is actually one of the few sciences where the public are still able to make a really important contribution. And that's not just through things like looking through their telescopes and discovering comets, but things like working with online projects like Galaxy Zoo, where people are able to look at photos from telescopes and actually categorize new galaxies. Now, the thing about the National Space Park is it's going to provide a real opportunity for engaging with the public on many levels. We already run the space school for school kids. And this is going to allow us to do even more education, so from school kids and beyond. So people should be really interested in science because it's about discovery and understanding the world around us, and indeed the universe. And the thing about this understanding is it allows us to make changes to the world for the better, so for things like treating disease or coming up with new technologies. And the thing about space sciences is it's actually one of the oldest sciences. Well, you know that the, the oldest civilizations were studying things like the moon and the stars and the planets. And these days, obviously, what we can do is we can send up things like telescopes and we can send crafts to other planets and we can send up satellites. And this allows us to do things with our daily lives, like use our mobile phones and look at things like climate change. And the University of Leicester has been heavily involved in this research for decades, which makes us ideally placed to host the National Space Park.